bitches. This is this New Year's Eve was a fucking wreck, bitch. This New Year's Eve was some fucking um bullshit on top of bullshit, okay? So, you know, disclaimer, me and my boo thing are fine right now. We're fine now. But last night was some bullshit, okay? It was some it was some fucking black China Rob Kardashian bullshit, okay? So <clears throat> Okay, last yesterday, y'all know, last, yesterday was New Year's Eve. I hope y'all turned the fuck up. Heard, I hope y'all got some dick. I hope y'all got some pussy. I hope y'all got some, your booty hole smacked in. I don't know. I don't know. Whatever you went to, bitch. I hope you got it. Anyway, so, um, so the day of, like, I spent, like, basically the whole day with him yesterday. So I went to his house around, like, noon, and we, you know, basically just drank and we went, you know, we went out to a bar later on that evening to watch the Ohio State game. And that was cool. And, you know, we played with the little doggies, his doggies. And, you know, we had sex one time. You know, it's, you know, this disclaimer, we had sex one time before, you know, we went out. When we, before we went out, we did the bump and grind. Ain't nothing wrong with a little dick and grind. Anyway, so we did have sex. And everything was great. I did mention now during our sex before we went out to eat, I did ask him, did the condom break? Only because the shit was hella wet. Like the shit was hella good. TMI bitch. But the shit was getting too good to be true. So I asked him, hey, babe, is the condom salon? Is it busted? He's like, okay, it's fine. Whatever. We did stop for a second. Whatever. He finished. He was happy. Whatever the fuck. So <clears throat> we go on about our evening, go out to eat and all this shit. And we go back home. And, you know, we drink a little bit more. We start to try to cuddle. He was watching the rest of the game. So, about this time, it was about 10, 30, 11. And, um, no, no, it was about, like, 10 something. Anyway, so we playing with each other and all this shit. And then the se- conversation of sex arises. And, you know, he's about to put on his condom. But he had pre come so much. I'm like, bitch, really? You pre coming this much? You know, we, we have been playing with each other and everything, but he pre coming this much though. Anyway, so <clears throat> before he put on this condom, I told him, hey, wipe your dick. Bay, wipe your dick. Like you're pre coming a lot before you're going in that condom. And he went off. He told me, that's it. I, I can't even fuck you now, Olivia. That's it. I can't even fuck you. Okay. We're not having sex at all tonight. You're just done pissed me the fuck off earlier. You told me, asked me, was a condom broken? It wasn't even fucking broken. Your pussy was just super wet. And now you're freaking out thinking that I'm going to get pre-cum all over the damn outside of the condom. What the fuck? So basically he did not, he shut down. He like basically just sat back down and went to sleep. Like he literally sat up like this and went to sleep with a mad face, with a mad face. Like he was fucking pissed. Like he, like I just ruined everything. So <clears throat> So since he was doing that shit, I'm like, well, fine then, nigga. You ain't gonna want to fuck me then, fine. So I go back to sleep. I go back to sleep and I slept for like maybe an hour because I think I woke up like right at like 11.45. And like, I'm like, I was I was trying to nudge. I'm like, hey, baby, bae, bae. It's like 15 minutes until 2017. Oh my God. Because <clears throat> we were watching the ball drop on TV. And he didn't nudge at all. He just like... Like, he was mad as fucking asleep or some shit. I'm like, okay, fine then, nigga. So, five minutes till the new year, I he finally wakes up and he's like, with a stank face, like, looking at me like, like, bitch, why is you here? Anyway. <laughs> anyway, so, um, <clears throat> the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, shit, come down, the countdown, and it was 2017, and he did not kiss a bitch, happy new year, and that really got me pissed off, and I hit him, I was like, you know, why didn't you kiss me, like, it's fucking happy, it's happy new, it's new year, like, they just said it was happy new year, we're supposed to fucking kiss, it's a new year's eve kiss, what the hell, and he's like, he just turns over, and like, turns over, like, um, ass faced towards me, like, you know, like, anyway and he acted as if like you know he's like i'm so fucking irritated i'm gonna go smoke and he goes outside to smoke a cigarette and um then he comes back upstairs all like oh well you know this was supposed to be better um i can't believe you got that mad about my pre-com like you know damn well that i was gonna wipe my dick off come on now now you know now that that's stuck in my head that you're so freaking paranoid maybe you need to practice absence maybe you don't need to fuck at all maybe we don't need to fuck at all you know i don't know how our sex life is going to be in this new year blah 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 and then 
you know, he was irritated. He was saying that he doesn't know how our sex life is going to be. And then he goes back to sleep. And I'm like, the fuck? I was supposed to spend the night at his house last night. But I was like, you know, I can't spend the night. Ladies, would you do the same thing? You're like, why would you spend? You, I just can't spend the night over my man's house knowing that he's mad at me, knowing that he's pissed off. I mean, yeah, I guess I could have, you know, taken his dick out and tried to fuck him, but he was so fucking mad. Like, he was like, he didn't want to kiss me after, like, he didn't want to be, be around. You know, he said that I could definitely stay over, but still, you know, even though he still said I could stay over, he acted like he didn't want me around still. I'm like, the fuck is wrong? Like, I can't believe one comment would make you act like you don't want to fucking have sex with me at all. And he basically made me feel like I ruined fucking New Year's Eve saying, oh, he was so excited to fuck me until the new year. Saying he was so excited to use the new condoms he bought and all this shit. But I ruined the fucking mood the whole night. I just ruined everything by me saying, wipe your dick off. Like, oh my God. So, <clears throat> yeah, I don't even know what to, <laughs> I don't even know y'all. Like, what the fuck is wrong? anyway so so I my mom comes comes to pick me up my ass up around like 1 30 in the morning you know he does walk me to the car and he does hug me and he does kiss me and say oh I guess I'll see you soon Olivia and yeah I don't know what the fuck is wrong like he was basically going off on me the whole night about me saying the dick wiping like are you like guys would you be that mad at your bitch she told you to wipe your dick off. And you know you done pre-cummed everywhere, bitch. You know you have a leaky faucet, okay, on that penis. Anyway, so, um, <clears throat> yeah, that was my New Year's Eve. <laughs> Just a quick story time, but we, we made it up today, though. <laughs> we made up today, and we have some fun today. And everything cool around our neighborhood, but it was just some fucking weird shit. This is like the most eventful New Year's Eve I've ever had. Like usually on New Year's Eve, I'm not doing shit. I'm actually in church usually um, or I'm at home. But yeah, y'all share your crazy New Year's Eve stories, y'all. Bye.